Welcome back. In today's video, I want to look at fats, the good and the bad. Fat is a rich source of energy with over double the amount of calories per gram than either carbs or protein. Fat helps to make you feel, feel full when you eat it. It's hormonally important for your body and body fat helps provide insulation from cold and a degree of protection from knocks and bumps and, and external forces. But what are dietary fats? Let, let's break those down into their subcategories. I'm going to start out with polyunsaturated fats, omega-3 and omega-6. They are essential fatty acids, which means that your body cannot make them. You must eat some, you must take in some omega-3 and some omega-6 for your body to function well. What's the optimal intake of omega-3 and 6 and where do you get it from? Let's look at omega-3 first. Most people in modern society, in the modern world, get too little omega-3 and this is the type of oil that's found in fish like salmon, mackerel, tuna, herring, sardines and it's also found in some nuts and seeds. Uh, flaxseed and walnut are good examples. Um, because we tend to not get enough of this it's really important to focus on getting a little bit more uh, fish in your diet and also Quick Hit has a great fish oil supplement that can help as well. Let's turn our attention to omega-6. Conversely to omega-3, nowadays most people get far too much of this type of fat and the problem with that is it can be pro-inflammatory. Um, so why is that happening? Well it's due to an excess consumption of industrial vegetable oils, particularly sunflower, corn, soybean and cottonseed oils uh, that are very common in the western world today. They're, they're mass produced uh, and they're sold to sort of all the fast food chains, a lot of the ready meal makers and so on. Uh, because they are used primarily in the preparation of ready meals, fast foods like burgers and fries and in snacks like chips too. Let's move on and look at saturated fats now. So we looked at polyunsaturated fats, we're now going to look at saturated fats. They are very rich in energy. Um, so we do need to be aware of the amount of calories that we are consuming through the saturated fats that we eat. Uh, sources of saturated fats include things like butter, coconut oil, palm oil and lard, but also milk, cream and cheese and processed meats. Also, uh, some cuts of beef, pork and lamb, uh, but the fatty cuts, can be relatively high in saturated fats too. So we've looked at poly, polyunsaturated fats, we've looked at saturated fats, now I want to look at sort of greasy foods that really provide an overload of calories from them, ones that we'll typically have an issue with in the modern world. Let's take the classic quarter pounder with cheese and fries. A quarter pounder with cheese and a large fries alone is a meal that consists of over 1,000 calories. About half of those uh, calories in that meal come from fats, including those uh, potentially dangerous or negative omega-6 fats. That one meal has more than half a daily calorie allowance for, mo for most people, appropriate to most people. It's really easy to put on weight or to halt weight loss without thinking about it if you can too, consume too much greasy fast food. In summation, you need some fat in your diet to be healthy. But it can be far too easy to consume too much of the wrong types of fat in today's world. Especially if you regularly eat mass-produced ready meals, typical snack foods like chips and meals from fast food outlets. Look to cut down on these and ideally eliminate them or, or treat them as treats for special occasions. And remember, if you need some better options for quick food and snacks on the go, check out some of the quick hit offerings.